Hello guys, this is Dr. Bass and today we'll have a uh, nice uh, demonstration of the rust on the surround motor. Some of you guys notice sometimes that uh, your surround feel like uh, it doesn't exactly know if it want to go forward or reverse when you twist the throttle. It's like it's jerking and the motor is not uh, rotating perfectly. So one of the main cause is the all sensor as uh, when you will search on the web for motor with some problems, we'll find a lot of people um, talking about the all sensor problem. But I think I found a very nice clue uh, that I will deeply explain to you and also explain uh, to you uh, what's the main cause of the all sensor problem. In fact, it's not the all sensor the problem, it's the water and the all sensor. Together it doesn't mix very well. So about the water, let's take a look on the motor that got some water inside. So you see that is a, I think it's a light BX motor here. I think because I got this motor uh, from a bike that I'm not sure what's the bike, uh, if it's a S or a X. Anyway, so you see there's Ross presence here and uh, also on the cover there's rust right here. So what's interesting here is that you will notice that the rust is on one side and not very on the other side. That's the top of the motor and that's the bottom of the motor. Okay, so the rust is more on the bottom of the motor. Exactly the same thing happened here. You see the phase wires are normally um, going uh, uh, backward to join the, to reach the uh, motor controller. And you see, this is exactly the bottom. So there's rust traces as well as on the rotor here. You see, there's, I've cleaned the magnet. Normally they are more dirty than that, but you see the bearing have rust, the shaft, and also the lamination here, which is not good. I explained that uh, in a previous video. Uh, just take a look on the motor porn uh, video that I made about this motor. You'll have great explanation. So the main reason why those motors get water inside is not because they're uh, they have a wrong seal. You know, those motors have a seal here, and as well as right here. Uh, for the cover for protecting the all sensor and also uh, around here you see and on the bearing too okay but um, even if there's a lot of seal on the motor the water will find its way inside and that's uh, not uh, uh, um, a question of uh, will it or when it will <laughs> okay so uh, to understand what's happening when the motor eat up the air inside in flat and it try to go outside okay and it will it will find its way outside so the pressure inside and the outside of the motor need to equalize so the uh, uh, hair inside uh, will find its way outside and when the motor is cooling down what happened is that the pressure inside will be uh, lower than the pressure outside and the air will also trying to find its way to return inside to balance the pressure outside and inside when it's happening uh if there's water presence or uh you know uh, ice or uh you know s snow around the motor uh the water will get trapped by that air and it will bring that water inside the motor that's what's happening and even if it's sometimes it's happening through the wires you know um justin uh, more from uh, green technology also demonstrated that, that very well uh by doing experiment uh with uh suction and uh wire strands uh, dripping uh with the water and uh, you you were able to see the water dripping from the wires because the wire the the, the wires act like a tubing okay so uh and uh, the uh, capillarity of the wires also have something to do anyway i don't want to go uh, too deeply into that subject it's more about the hall sensor so i have a hall sensor uh, that you can see here uh it's uh having a lot of rust you see here so there was a water inside it might be condensation from the water that was um lying on the bottom of the motor when there's temperature difference uh, it can be a lot of things, but for sure there was traces of water. And that's the all sensor. Normally, you, what you see here, it's a small PCB, just like, you know, regular uh, electronic PCB. And there's component here. Uh, but those components are um, 
like you know potted in a kind of a rubberized uh, protection okay so that rubberized protection is normally uh, bounded to the PCB here it's a fiberglass material but when you get water between that kind of uh, potting and when there's a very uh, not very good bound on this potting to the PCB you will see here very easy all the small component capacitor resistors all sensors and you see that there was water here so that's what's making the problem because that's exactly the sensor that tell your motor controller where the water position is to be able to control the phase current that goes inside the motor to make it rota rotating so the problem is that when the sensor goes the sensor goes bad uh, it will tell the controller the wrong indication so that's the main traces and I think I've I've searched on the web and everyone tell just replace the all sensor but nobody really uh, wanted to investigate why and uh, <laughs> at first I wasn't sure where the all sensor is and all these things but I just took that piece just on the angle like that and I saw a little clearance here and I've decided to put to peel on it and I saw all the circuits with the water here so yeah that's the, the sad story about water ingress inside the uh, hall sensor of the uh, surround motor so normally when this happen uh, you can try to use a toothbrush and use alcohol isopropylic alcohol and to clean everything or even uh, some uh, paint solvent uh, will maybe work but it will not guarantee that uh, if there's water here you know normally there's some current going here to supply the oil sensor and there's some corrosion and electrolysis that will happen and sometimes it will just like eat uh, a few components and a few traces that are conductive on the PCB here so if it's not going too far you can save that oil sensor and just brush all the conductive uh, oxide here because it's uh, sometimes very conductive and it will make some small shorts which make the sensor to uh, go bad so you can try to clean that apply some epoxy or uh, silicone and to put it back and press it for a few hours and hope it will get sealed back but chances are that uh, if you have uh, you know uh, water going here there's chances that it will go here and here too. You can try to peel it completely off and to ju just use some kind of uh, varnish. Uh, maybe I can show you an example of that kind of uh, varnish, which is called conformal coating here. So that's a good example. Normally that varnish is uh, applied on uh, uh, circuit, electronic circuit to protect them from, from water. So that one could be a great solution. But there is some cheap one on eBay and from China that when uh, the temperature change, it, it get the conductive. <laughs> so that's very bad. So don't buy very cheap one. That one is a solid reputation and that's a good product. Okay, so yeah, so that's the uh, story for the bad all sensor on the motor. So actually that motor will be uh, used for uh, a tuning rig. I'm uh, working with the back 2000 and they hold an XT display that I don't like pretty much, but I will try to work with a little bit as well as the backdoor apps uh, and uh, try to uh, investigate on some parameters that I'm not familiar with yet because there's tons of parameters. There's thousands of parameters so yeah <laughs> maybe not thousands but uh, close to thousand <laughs> all right so uh guys i hope you uh, appreciated that video and uh again thanks for watching and uh i will post more video about the technical of that motor really soon so stay tuned and please subscribe take care bye, -bye.